Hey, All so right. I'm kind of curious. So we had the choice to either do it yesterday or today. I, I guess I kind of liked it that you guys chose to do it with me instead of without me. I did that on purpose. I didn't want to tell yeah. Burns at the time, but I did that on purpose. Because <laughs> yeah, Burns just sits there and will say something, and he just wants to fucking say the opposite. He doesn't talk. <laughs> Fuck that guy, man. What I was going to say was, uh, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Jimmy couldn't be here today. Kyle is gone camping, and Burns is at the lake. So for one hour, you have to listen. <laughs> Can you imagine having to do the whole what show What would you by talk yourself? about by yourself? I don't, I don't think you, you would have to have like a, like a script of things to talk about. Like that was, yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking that this morning. Like, What if you had to do it by your like, – like doing a podcast fully by yourself, like there would be so much awkward silence. Uh, yeah, I mean, like you would have to be, you would have to be a different type of like, you'd almost have to be a character person, you know, like the Alex Jones type guy, where you could just rant and rant and rant into a rant. It almost yeah. be entertaining in its own right, you know, <laughs> just to hear him struggle. Maybe for like the first one. Yeah, then you let's, click let's, off after like three minutes. You're like, this. Sucks. Let's all the uh, let's all bail on Burns on Wednesday's show. And make him do it for this an hour. Dude, there's he couldn't handle that stress. I, okay, he so he's not here. Cigs. We can talk about him. I think this this whole secret girlfriend's like we're talking some serious stuff here. I think there may be like marriage potential here because he's. I'm pretty sure it's it's he doesn't want to let us know, but I think it's like. They're together every day. Hell, she may live with him. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it's fucking weird, though. Like, okay, I understand, like, being in, like, the spotlight and stuff, but, like, completely not, like, being, like, a damn hermit about it. Fuck that shit, man. Well, you also have to think. He's he's dealing with us, and all of us give each other shit on everything. And if it's, if it's fresh, if they're in love... He doesn't want to like get her feelings hurt, or he she doesn't understand how we joke around. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll give him that one. But I think it's I, I personally, my gut tells me that we got some serious stuff going on. I there may hell there may be a baby that we don't know about. Yeah, I wonder if he gut stabbed her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder what Burns would name his kid. Let's name it. Burns. Let's name it for him. If it was a boy and it was Burns' kid, what would you name it? Wayne. Wayne. He's got it. Oh, he I would know. name it Wayne. Winston. Winston. Wayne. Uh, Winston. It's got to be a hockey name. Wayne. You oh, think Wayne. he'd be w- Sydney? Uh, Sydney. Think- Sydney. Yeah, he'd do something like I don't know if he'd go as hardcore as like that one parent in Utah that named their kid John. No, no, John no. John Malone. Uh, Stockton Malone. Stockton, Stockton Malone. Malone is his fucking name. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I think it's Malone Stockton, which is even weirder. Malone, yeah, or something. Yeah, that's what it is. Something Malone like Stockton. this. Something just fucking retarded. If if I even saw that person, I don't even give a shit if your son is good at basketball. I would tell that parent right to their face, like, you just fucking ruined your kid's life, you piece <laughs> of shit. You cunt. I would call her a cunt. Like, that's a complete... It. Were you fucking high when you named your kid? Like, I, I, like that makes no sense to me. Why would you name your fucking kid that? I had a, a funny hypothetical tweet like two or three weeks ago where I said, what if at age 18, when you got like the legal quote unquote uh, right to like smoke and certain things like that, like go to the clubs and everything, I said, what if you also got one free name change? People sent me some pretty funny names, but like, can you imagine how many fucked up people we would have at 18 years old picking their names to fidget spinner and and you could yeah you couldn't change it back ever. Fidget yeah, spinner. Never be called I anything guarantee else. you. I guarantee you. No, there you. is. We uh, made an article about it. Oh my god. It was fake though. I guess the dude's a comedian. I'll still bet you there's a dumbass out there that did it. I I also said in another tweet like, who's gonna be the first person that names their kid an emoji? Like just just an emoji because why why not you're typing right like I want it to be the smiley face emoji, that's what it identifies as. I don't you know, know it's if gonna that's happen. Legal. I don't. It, I think you well, there's like it? rules Prince? for legally naming no, yourself. Prince, you can't Prince just be emoji. His name a yeah, symbol. he was a symbol. He was a symbol that he made himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he's fucking weird. So well, fuck that <laughs> Prince and dead. I, I do. Uh, I got a I got a good topic. Um, I have started a so my you guys Jesus you guys know Christ. my struggle. Do what? Nothing. Go. 
you know my struggle with like I've always tried to get away from Call of Duty on the main channel, like all kinds of shit. I've I've had 50 channels, all that good stuff. Well, I found a good happy place. So I do COD, I do top 10 gaming stuff, but now after midnight, I upload what I call like the late night squad videos and it's like non-gaming. Like I just put up a scariest YouTube video or scariest videos on YouTube, like some crazy ass videos that'll creep you out and stuff. So I do all kinds of stuff on there and it's actually going really well. And the one I just recorded, I'm doing a 10 strangest addictions that you won't believe are true. So what's the strangest thing you guys have heard? Because I guarantee you some of these in this list can top it. I already know shit's going to be wild because it's like on TLC they do yeah. their, uh, yeah. Yeah. what's it called? I don't My Strange what Addiction. Called. My Strange Addiction, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, like they got some So what wild. have you heard and of? What have you heard of? Well, half the time, like, I mean, people like cotton, a lot of people, what's weird is a lot of people eat deodorant, uh, like cotton toilet balls. Paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Try, try drywall. Drywall. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. but that's can't a lot of this stuff, stomach. I wonder if it's real, like, I wonder if it's real. You think it's fake? Like, how could you fucking be addicted to cotton balls or deodorant? What like, about, how, like, you must be that fucked up in the head. What about the lady that eats her husband's ashes? Like, she carries around his urn and nibbles on him. I, yeah, daily. I think I've seen that one. Like, that's, like, they should just put that person down immediately. Like, <laughs> that's fucking weird. I'm they should sure, just put, put them down. I'm sure you've them, posted about the dude... Em. Fucking his car, right? Yeah, oh, I've seen that one. It's uh, very common in like India. So it's the, real. Uh, you guys, do you guys remember? Uh, yeah, True, True Life on MTV. True Life, that show. Barely. It was, on, it was, it was on MTV for a little bit. There was like True Life. I'm addicted to video games, and it was like this girl who got addicted to like Farmville and all these Facebook games. And her husband was like a super smart like guy who had to do all the stuff and she would just like blow him off to do video games and the other one was like true life i'm addicted to sex and they followed this uh guido dude before jersey shore was the thing in new jersey and he was just like yeah i've fallen on some fatties i'm i'm, I'm not afraid to admit it and he's like i just have to have sex and it, i i think it was real it was just like what this is this guy's life yeah, I I'm, think all men are addicted to sex in some form or another. The video game addiction, that 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 shit's real. Like I I got into World of Warcraft like 4 or 5 years ago and I I got into it for like 6 to 8 months and that shit consumed me. Like it really did. It did. It consumed me. It's like all you wanted to do. I yes. I can admit that. Yeah. Like currently like I'm addicted to my damn phone in like a sense of like it doesn't really help that I can do pretty much Everything my whole <laughs> job like from my phone right Life. you know and like and like what entails in doing that job is just like looking for content so just like i'm always like even when i was doing like youtube like i'm addicted like because usually when i put my head to something like i'm fucking all about that so like when i first started youtube i was all about that shit and you, i would refresh my subscriber count literally probably 250 times a day and that's no joke at wow. all like, cause I'm like, I'm, I'm super competitive. So I'm like, I need fucking subscribers. I need more than that guy. I need more than that guy. So I'm like, just refreshing like crazy, you know? And it, it's funny. Cause it's like, you hit a refresh and you're like, holy shit. I just went up 50. Holy yeah. You know, but then you do a refresh and you're, you go three. down, you go down three and you're like, fuck. You're like, you know? literally, it's like, literally it's a, it's a up and down of emotion, huh? Yeah, it, that's I and I've been like battling it for the last like I I tell myself every day I need to quit doing that shit cuz that's like I I shouldn't determine like like actually same thing goes with like daily earnings like like now we refresh it fucking all the time to refresh 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 and it's right. like you can't you can't let that determine your day like oh dang it like the earnings today were less than yesterday like oh like no, like, but and then there you is have a, that there's that balance because that is directly linked to your livelihood and your life and your support for your family and everything. So there is that you want to be aware of it. I mean, you really want to have a good beat on it. I guess it's that yeah crossing the line. But the thing is, there's no like doing your own thing. Like there's no fucking there's no like time frame. Like it's an all day thing. Like there's no reason that I should be sitting in my in my room watching TV with my wife at nine o'clock refreshing that shit and being like oh you know like it's 
Like, it's just, a, I mean, it's a fucking, at the end of the day, it's a fucking job, you know? Like, yeah. and that's what I need to really look at it as rather than, like, like, I mean, even though it is, like, my life, but I, you can't fucking look at it like that because I, like, I, me and Colby talk about it all the time. Like, like, dude, we fucking do what we do. Like, if it, if, if it's not a good day, like, tomorrow will make up for that. You know, it's like, you just can't fucking, like, I, like, I can't just. It's easier just, said than done, though. I got to put yeah, the exactly. shit down. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. But it's like, you got to learn. I mean, it's just like, I would say us three are, like, super competitive people. And that's, yeah. that's a lot what it has to do with, you know. But, um, I mean, you always want to, like, improve and stuff like that. And, um, but, yeah, that's, like, one of. I, I'm sure Colby's and like me and him are in the same boat, but it's like fucking hey, dude. Sometimes we just got to put the shit down, go to the lake and go swimming, and not worry about shit, you know? Yeah. I, I'm, I I'm also totally don't think you. we would. I don't think like Jimmy would be as far though as he is today without that competitiveness. That's that, true. Like, it's once again it goes back to that balance yeah, and that fine line. It, same with us. It's just like uh, I forget who did it. I might have been a 60 minute segment where they interviewed like a guy who used to work at Google. And then quit because he saw like what it was doing to people. And long story short, it was like we have these triggers in our brains now that like uh, for everything from like my mom to to us, if if you get a notification, you're like, wow, that's awesome, and your brain fills with like that good feeling of dope, I mean. And dope then like, yeah. and then when you go back and you check again, and your first social media doesn't have one, and then you you don't have any new messages, you don't have that, and you look at your phone. Then you get rushed with a feeling of like, oh, nobody loves like, me. So now you're doing a teeter totter all day, like, like it's gamification all over again. And these phone companies, he was like, they're gonna control the world because they can control people how people feel about their everyday. Yep. Which is kind of scary. I agree totally. I mean, it, and it's we're in such a world like your social media. What do you do? What do you? Why do you post a tweet? You have multiple reasons why you post one. Maybe you want to get something out there. Maybe you just feel like you need to post one for a quota, but you're always looking to see, will that get a You want interactions. Interactions? Yeah, Does anybody love me? Does anybody care anymore? Yeah, like, so when we do, like, stuff on Facebook, like, everything's based off that. Like, like we'll be, like, we have, like, certain gauges in our brain for, like, how well something's doing. So we're, like, oh, like, the first 10 minutes, mm -hmm. 10 minutes, if this video's getting 100 likes a minute, fuck, yeah, we're good. And, I mean... It's all based off interactions and engagements. And, I mean, it's cool. I'm just saying to, like, a certain extent, like, I shouldn't be letting it hinder, like, me hanging out with my family at 6 o'clock at night, you know? Like, yeah. like that's, what I, that's just what I'm trying to learn. It's, like, putting the shit down and, like, being free, you know? Like, it was kind of weird once I, like, all I cared about, you know, first started with youtube and then moving over to facebook like that's the only fucking thing i cared about i mean i cared about my family obviously but like that was like the only like livelihood like super important thing to me and then you hit these certain like milestones like like um i mean we we bought our cars and then we pretty much like got like our dream house you know and then i mean we were making really good money and just bought this dream house and i'm just kind of sitting there like holy fuck like i'm really not that happy you know like it's like it's kind of like it's kind of like now what you know like now what do i gotta get all this fucking money so i can go buy you know it's, that's it's, my problem i can't turn it off i can't turn the what's next yeah I, that, I mean point. i i'm fighting trying to just be able to like maybe not turn it off but like like turn it on hardcore from nine to five and then yeah. you just you just kind of sit back and just just fucking be like, okay, I need to chill the fuck out, you know. I, I mean, I need to go hang out with my family without worrying how this video's doing, you know. How you, and I'm sure you're the same way. You post a video, 100%. you're probably up in that shit watching it. How's it starting? You know, initial comments and stuff to see kind of how the video's going and yep. um, seeing what people are saying. If like they're really hating on it, you're kind of thinking about uh, maybe I should delete this, you know. I mean, it's it's fucking crazy how how kind of like everything works. Like I I been in like your boots on youtube especially when it's your own shit when you post stuff on facebook and it's getting hate i mean a lot of the times it's not uh us in the video so it's like well who cares like people are commenting but like if you're getting hate on your own video you're always kind of like fucking a like what do i do now with this like do i just remove it yada yada you know it's even it's even it's even to the point like if you're doing good so let's say you've got a video taking off there's going to come a point where it's going to peak and then valley. And then you're gonna be like, well, damn, 
It didn't stay yeah. up there. Now I need to figure out how to get it back. It, you're right. It's a addi- it's addiction. Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. The best feeling I had was so when I would post a bunch of YouTube videos. You know, obviously wanting views, engagements, and stuff like that. And um, I fucking would same thing. I'd be looking at the comments, every single video, hardcore, seeing what all these thousands and thousands of comments were saying. You know, and you see all these like, oh, dude, this is so funny, yada yada yada. And then you see a bad one, and you're like fucking a man like that just ruined my day after all these awesome comments you know so you got to get into a little battle war with that guy but when i switched over to facebook like it was such a relief not to like have to scan through all these not not that i had to i just wanted to not you know just to see what like the feedback was but when i didn't have to do that was such like a relief because i mean nobody's like talking shit about you anymore even though they are you're just not reading it you know yeah no, yeah. I, I, I kind of have the best part of the job because I'll give you a lot of stuff and then just be like, oh, I hope he doesn't get pooped on. But hey, my, I'm done for this. Yeah. Well, you're always going to have you're always you're on the Internet. You're going to you're going to come into conflict. I've started to learn that more and more uh, like in a personal level just from this podcast. Like, again, I mean, my my Twitter mentions are I don't know how you Jimmy, you even like open yours. But it's weird because, like, it's to the point now, and this is no, there's no problem with this, but we'll do something or post something or say something on the show, and I'll get five comments about it, and like four are like, oh, I agree, I agree, I agree. And the one guy's like, dude, you're so stupid for saying that. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, that's interesting. I never used to have that, like, aspect in my life where someone's calling me an idiot for not knowing how to say Targaryen, right? You know, it's just yeah. like, or for, you or, don't or, have or, it. or for saying wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, that's, it's such a weird, like aspect you don't have life. it you don't have it built up like us like we're we're yeah. used to it you oh, know yeah. you're just like why the fuck is that dude being a dick even though 10 other people said that they think you're funny as fuck and then that one person you, you only see the one person you know me and ashley yeah. were talking about that last night she doesn't even read comments or anything on anything because add another layer of of shit in there and have kids colby and oh, i can't yeah. imagine your kids when they your yeah stuff. when they attack your kids yeah, but that I honestly think like I think it's worse when they like attack like your almost like your spouse or something like yeah. just because you know they're just like you know they're just saying that about your damn kid just to piss you off. Yeah, you know, I say with I mean pretty much anything you know, but I mean when they say something about like your spouse who's like an adult, you know, and you know that they don't re- like my wife never really wanted to be in videos, so you kind of feel like a dick when they yeah when they try and say something about her just to piss you off, you know. Yep. But the kids are like, all right, man, like like people know that that's crossing the line, so the people that are doing it are just trying to get a rise out of you for sure. But I mean, I have people saying like, I hope your right wife, I'm gonna rape your wife, I'm gonna kill your kids, and I'm just like, I mean, it really, I'm at the point now where doesn't even like phase me but no but in the beginning uh uh yeah maybe a little bit not not really about the kids just because i was so used to it already and actually after i had my first kid i didn't really post stuff that much longer after but um sometimes i would look at people to see like you would go look at their profile and then if they had like an egg or something on twitter you're just like okay whatever but if they had like a real profile or like a real instagram with like like pictures and shit of themselves that's when you kind of take you screenshot that and you say wow this kid just said he wanted to uh, rape my my two-year-old and then it's like you know that's all you got to say and then it's game over for them or yeah well on instagram if somebody talks shit 99 percent of the time you go to their account and it's private yeah or it's going to yeah, be private after hate. you make a after you make a point of doing it but you got to be careful on instagram because i got people saying they want to rape my wife and shit and then i screenshot it and put it on my instagram yeah, and, then and it had their name in it and i got i got it removed did you ever get yeah, your instagram off. back the whole thing's gone no i have somebody i have somebody now that they have a list of people in front of me that they're getting back but he had his removed for like a month and he had like two million followers and he got his back so he's the dude that's helping me so and he yeah so he's kind of like my my our facebook contact hasn't right. responded for a while so who knows man who we knows? just have such our our conversations are so deeper when burns isn't here 
I know. I don't, I, well, I, I think it's more to do with four people. I was going to say that, too. I don't know if it's just with no – but, yeah, it's just it's, – sometimes it gets hard when you're, like, don't want to step on someone's toes. So you're like, oh, 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 oh no, you go. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, maybe we do that. Maybe maybe we rotate and, and, tr- and see what happens. And like, on the next one, you know, somebody sits out and we do three. Just I mean, I think it's rotation. it's just more. There's just more room to talk rather than four people thinking. Uh, should I say something? Should I say something? Well, Burns would say he just, he doesn't talk. Yeah, or Burns. Burns can just do our audio. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just know. He t- may have a secret baby that he needs to to support. I mean, not that we make a lot of money on here, but you never know. Hey, shout out to the Patrons keeping us going. Uh, they have uh, they're about to surpass. All advertisers with the 348 of them. <laughs> There's 348 now. Holy crap. Oh, sorry, sorry. 348 per month, 315 patrons. I actually uh, put up a message a couple minutes ago before, or before the show started saying taking questions live. We got a ton of questions. I, I mean, I don't want right, I'm going to rapid fire some. Go for it. See. I'm sick, by the way. That's why I'm snotting everywhere. While, while Colby's looking for that, uh, John Jones, Cormier tonight. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Who you got? John Jones. I, I don't think. I think I don't it's think gonna. Cormier yeah. can beat him. I think that Cormier had his chance, and then when Jones got uh, busted or whatever it was, like the day before the fight, that was like his his window to even have a chance. Cormier does look a lot better, like body wise. I don't know if that's a good thing though. The thing with John Jones, before I get into these questions, is like. I, people might say like, "Oh, Anderson Silva or that w- or someone else like, oh, they're the best of all time." Like, I didn't really watch as as much then. Like, John Jones for me is the best person I've ever seen fight in the UFC. Like, he's just incredible. Everything he does. So that's like personal. Yeah. Opinion, on him. Personal opinion. He, though. I want to see him fight Gus Gustafson or whatever again. Remember, he almost fucking beat him. That white dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The only Alex reason he lost pretty team. much is because he, because it went to decision, but he fucking drilled him with a like a back spinning elbow or something. Man, an elbow would hurt. That was... I, that's what I'm saying. Like especially in the like yeah. right in the face. Like that's what I mean. That's what John Jones' his thing is is start cutting people up with elbows. Sure. I still think shin kicks would just be the death of me. Well, those guys like, are those guys. Here you have, go. They've tempered their shins. Like they yeah. break their shins down and then. Like calcium them back up, like the whole old school kickboxer movie. I don't know if you guys ever watched that Van Dam way back in the day, where you like kick the bamboo tree. Yeah, and I mean I'm not talking on that level, but they do. They they have like rubbing sticks and shit, like pieces of wood. That oh they yeah, they can't they can't feel that yeah. shit. All right, yeah, uh, <clears throat> oh go ahead. But actually, real quick, but uh, like Anderson Silva, dude. The reason I mean. He's probably like record wise, obviously not as good as John Jones, but that fucking guy has like just the way he fights is why people look at him as like the best of all time. Like kind of like the cocky, but he just has some like just some nasty shots that nobody else was doing. You know. Yeah. Speaking of fights, I have seven hundred dollars so far that I have bet uh, free money. Yeah, <laughs> so it's so I could tweet this out right now. And I could get another couple hundred in bets if I wanted to. I that people are giving me Mayweather straight up. I, I may have already told you guys that. Can you believe that the lines have shifted so much that it's like uh, I think it might be five fifty now. I've got McGregor, I've got I've got a five hundred dollar bet with a friend. I get I get Mayweather straight up. I've got a hundred dollar bet with a friend. Mayweather straight up and a hundred and fifty. Are your friends bet. fucking retarded? Hey hey, I'm just I'm just telling you what I got. Are I they get dumb. Oh, yeah. I, 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 if they win, I they're not what dumb. Faith. But they should have made you at least do two to one, which you would have done. Uh huh. I'm, I'm excited. That's yeah. That's pathetic on their part. <laughs> All right, Kobe. They really, they really think that. Yeah, okay. All well, right. Well, yeah, Kobe, it's Kobe. the whole puncher's chance, going with the underdog. <laughs> But you, you know. got to give yourself, but you got to be a smart better there and give yourself some sort of advantage for taking the guy who came out of the gates thousands of. You had to put a thousand dollars on Floyd to make a hundred. Like mm. it, you got to give him a some kind of odds or give yourself. I mean, some kind of odds. That's terrible. 
Not your fault, Jimmy. Not your fault at all. <laughs> all right, first question in from the Patron ch uh, page. Uh, shout out to all these people from Hunter. What is the one thing you are looking forward to in the future? Uh, Mayweather winning. Mm, complete, complete chaos and destruction, and hopefully we're part of it and we get sent into dark ages because life is boring. North Korea <laughs> fired another ICBM. Yeah, did they... Do they? So are they firing those at us or Japan? No, no, no they're I not just... firing them at anybody. They're firing okay. them straight up. You think they're launching missiles at people right now? Uh, I just no, read the headline. They're firing them it. straight up. But the point <coughs> is, what they're doing is they're testing how high they can go, which you can do some mathematical equation to to determine where it would land. So the first one on July fourth would land somewhere off the coast of like Alaska. The one they did yesterday. <coughs> It stayed in the air for seven more minutes. It had more velocity, and they said that it could potentially hit the Midwest. Oh, so they're blowing past us in Seattle now. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're getting it to where supposedly they could target wherever they want in the United States. This one dropped off 80 miles off the coast of Japan. So Japan like had an emergency meeting last night uh, with South Korea and shit. Like, uh... <laughs> Now, mind you, these missiles don't have any nukes on them. They said that's a whole other ball game to figure out how to miniaturize a warhead, put it on the tip of a missile, send it up into the atmosphere, and then get it to come back down and re-enter where they want it to. But, I mean, nobody, nobody's stopping them. They're literally testing this shit every three weeks now. Uh, if, if shit gets serious, North Korea will get wiped up. Off or wiped well, off no, I, I totally like, agree with you, but here's what could happen. The potential of what could happen is for shit to get serious, which is what it looks like. It looks like they're literally going to have to shoot a missile up our ass for us to do anything. So missile number one goes off. People die, obviously. And then we, us, South Korea, the United <laughs> Nations, they just everybody just wipes North Korea off the map. But in that instance, when they're going to do that, North Korea is going to fire everything. So you're gonna you're you potentially if our our missile defense shit I don't know how all that works our Thad missiles and all that let's say it fails I mean millions of people will die even if North Korea is wiped out in a matter of an hour. Yeah, the strategy behind that for North Korea wouldn't be the smartest thing. Well, if they shoot the yeah, first one, like, they know they're done. They know they're dead. So they're literally going to yeah, genocide. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I got the sneeze attacks. I, can tell. I wonder, I but from what I've seen, <laughs> it sounds like this dude's crazy enough that if he knows he, like he's going, he's just he's taking be like, everybody I'm going, with him. Yeah. yeah, you're all going with me. Yeah, know? I mean, what are the, there's some crazy shit, dude. Like they teach their kids that he doesn't have a butthole and he doesn't poop. It, crazy shit. Yeah, all that stuff. Didn't yeah. didn't they? Yeah, they he like plays in a basketball league where he averages like. Yeah. Like seven, 70 points, 25 <laughs> rebounds, 25 assists, like 40 steals. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you imagine? I'll be right back. So I got to blow my nose. All right. oh, that's fine. Can you imagine being so brainwashed that you have to let some dude like whoop you that bad in basketball? Oh, I feel like, so. I feel so bad for the just the the citizens of that country. I feel really bad for them. Just your normal family, husband, wife, well, kids. I mean. That's what that's what like is the hesitant point on why you don't just see them dropping stuff well, because of course. it's like there's of real yeah which is I never used to understand that like you know as a kid who didn't pay attention in history class I'm I'm always just like ah get rid of them and it's like yeah. oh wait no then you grow up and you're like Damn, millions they upon millions of innocent lives and then if you really want to get into it let's not even talk about us South Korea is obviously next door to them in Seoul how many how many people hold on. In South Korea? Well, not just South Korea. They, it would be uh, they would they would hit Seoul, Korea. There are <laughs> estimated twelve million people in the capital city. <laughs> oh, jeez! Twelve million people in Seoul, so that, Korea. Those people would all be at risk instantly. Yeah. Oh, well, man, one nuke, yeah. one nuke, and they can do that now. I mean, they're they're Seoul, Korea is like a couple hundred miles away from north korea so so that's uh, yeah that's one of the other probably just massive factors yeah, i get it a yeah, little bit man. more now it's crazy yeah, we have <laughs> our man trump is the man on the button yeah oh that's classic yeah. uh sh all right you guys want to kill to the next one Good. sure yeah go for it 
Uh, oh, this isn't a question. Well, it is a question. He said, why didn't El Mang get a shout out on the last podcast streak ended? Well, shout out now. Admin El Mang. He's Start on the Discord. He fixed everything. And if you got a problem, talk to El Mang. He's yeah, cool. man. We had so much Discord drama. We had like bots <laughs> taken over. We had somebody, didn't somebody hack it? And like everybody had the same name or some shit? Uh, yes. Yeah, so he, what happened is someone gave admin to someone else, but it wasn't like the full one. It was like uh, they could control groups, which I guess is all you need to like change the names. So it, it's all fixed and, and worked through just one guy now, which is El Mang. And then yeah, that's it's all they fixed it all. How about uh, some appreciation of that that name, El Mang? That's what El he just Mang. did. He gave him a shout out. L as in oh, I would just mean like just the name, oh. like L like it's Mexican, but then Mang Chinese, pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Hey, you guys uh, want to see the coolest thing today really quick? Yeah, where's it coming, Scott? Look in the chat. Better not be a video of yours or something. <laughs> well, that, that would be too. That's pretty Play cool. Brew. Nostalgic oh. video game craft beer. Oh, wow. Isn't oh, that, that cool? Is cool? They can do that? Yeah, I'm going to order some. That's neat. Well, how uh, do they... Is... How? So they got to deal with these people? No, this is the or company. Ca- Playbrewco.com. They No, but I know, beer. but what about their copyrights? Well, you can uh, buy like the license to the images. Yeah. So like that G.I. Joe one, you can buy like uh commercial yeah, sweet. commercial licenses. Isn't that neat? Uh this is a personal question from Jack to Kyle. What do you usually shoot when you play golf? Dog shit yesterday, but uh the other day I shot a seventy eight. Colby witnessed it. No yeah. mulligans, no nothing straight up. From the golds, Kyle shot a 78. I shot my second you like best shit, score of you all shot time. shot a 78? No, yesterday I played like shit. Oh, okay. I shot a 98, Jimmy. Hey, second under highest. 100. Well, yep. And then he beat my was, uncle for the first time. The first yes. time Colby's ever beat anybody. Yeah, it was crazy is like... I I had like off the top of my head I I know there was like two holes I had a bad drive on which then obviously takes a stroke. I had one ball where I lost it over a fence so there's you know that's five strokes. Putted pretty well throughout like I think I had one hole with a bad putt so we're at like what six strokes now. Uh two really dumb chips close up 7 8. So there's about eight strokes I know I could get back. I did the math and Kyle still beats me by like 18 st- or by that put me at 90, so I'm still losing by 12. That's crazy. Hey, you just keep making small improvements. That's all you can do. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. I was my I haven't used my driver in a while, so I out of I think 14 holes that weren't par or 15 holes that weren't par three, I had the hole two where I had a bad drive, and then hole another hole where I had a bad drive. The rest I all hit pretty straight and in play. You're going to lose four to six strokes around like that just off dumb shit that you could actually control, especially putting. Putting and then like the my my biggest like uh, range problem right now, which is actually always has been there, is like th- where you can't bump and run the ball and you can't like 60 degree chip it. It's like where you have to like really lightly just yeah. all right, hit it like short. Drive That's for show, suck, putt so. for dough. Yeah, I made the mistake yesterday. We played golf all day. That's why I couldn't do the show yesterday. And I woke up because I was a little bit sick at like 345. And we were playing. The course was about 90 minutes away. And I couldn't fall back to sleep. So I just said, fuck it. Left at 430. And um, waking up that early is not good for your golf game. I'm tired just thinking about it. Uh, I didn't Wes. play. I didn't play awful at first, but then I played awful. I hope these people don't care that I'm reading their names, but then I guess anyone that's a patron of the 300 of you can go and read who they were anyway. Wes wants to know the best way to get over a breakup besides drinking. I don't know. Get back out there, man. Besides drinking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the worst way to get over a breakup. Yeah, you you gotta actually not drink. That's I'll, I I will always support someone popping open a Tito's unless they're depressed. Do not pop the Tito's. There's really, I I mean I've, I mean in high school I've had some, I would consider from a high school point of view like a rough break. Like I dated a girl for like two years, and then she broke up with me, 
literally the only thing that's going to solve anything. Go hang out with your friends. But it's all about time, man. Time heals everything. Uh, you know, you got to give it time. You're going to be depressed and shit. Just don't off yourself in that depressed time. Um, but uh, then you'll look back and be like, holy shit, like that... That was wasn't the best. Me, yeah. That wasn't the best relationship anyway. It was like I'm gonna find somebody better. Fuck off, or just kill her, and you know she won't be fucking any other dude. I don't know. <laughs> I like that one. You want to know what uh, I'm doing guy. right now? Jerk eating, it off. Not at this avocados. moment, but right now in this, this just in this kind of bubble of time, I'm rewatching every season or every episode of Game of Thrones. Oh, I thought you meant like this very second. No. I've tried doing that. It's not easy as it sounds. It's Dude, not it, as it's, cool. Yeah, it is because you, you miss so much shit. Some of these episodes are like four years old, dude. You go back, I'm watching it, and I'm like, holy crap. That makes sense now. I don't even remember that part. It's like watching them brand new. It's awesome. I'm in almost season three already after like three days. I forgot that uh, Jamie Lannister saved that girl from the bear until the other day. There's all kinds all of stuff about that. that makes sense now. The that girl I didn't from really the bear in the beginning. Yeah, remember the girl that protects uh, that was supposed to protect the mom, and then now she protects. Uh, oh, um, Brienne of Tar. Yeah. Brienne, Brienne, Brienne. Tar. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yep. She saved her from the bear, like an actual bear. That bear, she had to fight a bear, and then one arm boy hopped in there and saved well, her. Well, Lannister went from it. being like a dick. To now, I, I think he's like. Now he's awesome. Yeah, he's yeah like, that was his heart. face turn. Good yeah. guy. But the sad thing is, he dead. Uh, he's not gonna last. He just can't. Like he can't just forget about all the bad shit. First of all, especially with like, like he's gonna come face to face with like Braun or something again. Um, but I mean, then his he's probably possibly might be the dude that kills the queen again, and. I mean, I guess him killing the king and the 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 mad king in the first place might be seen as honorable, but uh, I just don't really foresee him living. Well, dude, I, I was on ep- one of the season two. Dude was such a dick. Like I forgot when he's tr- when when Rob Stark's army has him tra- or like has him as prisoner, and that that squire comes in. And he's like telling him the story. It was the best day of his life when he got to actually hang out with Jamie Lannister and Jamie's like, that's awesome, dude. Thanks. And he goes, I just thought of a way out of here. And then he like kills him and beats him with the rock to get the guard. to yeah. Come in. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Jesus. You forget all that stuff though. Like watching, uh, what's her name? Aria, Ari, Aria. She's like watching her go through the whole thing. I didn't realize she met the dude without the face, the, the people the without face. God. I didn't realize I just put two and two together that she met him like season into season one, season two before she ever went to that city to be trained by him and shit. Forgot about that. Yeah. Well, no, he helped her. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's killing people right now. She gets three free kills and he's done two so far where I'm at. Damn. That was season two. That yeah. seems so long ago. I know. dude. Yeah. But he was cool. helping. He killed a shitload of people for her. I thought. Well, she, she, yeah. she rescued she him. Freed like, him. Act of kindness. Yeah, she freed him. And then he said, I'm going to give you three kills. And then I don't know oh, okay. how she ends up out. I forgot how she ends up out there in like season four or five. But the point is, like, you go back and re- it's like you're rewatching it again for the first time. Pretty Would cool. you rewatch Walking Dead again? No, because I was Game of Thrones. I think the first two or three episodes I like binge watched, like when I was flying to L.A. and stuff and different stuff. And I didn't pick it up. I've been like on point with Walking Dead since day one. So I know like all the ins and outs and storyline of it, but Game of Thrones, I really felt like I could use a refresh because it's a way more complicated storyline in Game of Thrones. I mean, you have like nine stories going on at going once. On. Yeah. Yeah. And HBO said season eight's the last season. I mean, guaranteed it's going to end. And they said probably a year after it ends, they're already working on four spinoffs. So they said there'll definitely be a prequel starting once this has ended. Probably somewhere around like Robert Baratheon's um, rebellion or maybe even farther back when the Targaryens came over with the dragons and stuff. Hopefully not not the John Stark character. It, it, the, it won't have any of these characters. They said these characters... Uh, well, no, I was going to say, you remember the flashback with uh, Starky Boy? Like, yeah, yeah, where John Stark's like, going in the that, tower. I can't look at that dude's face. That guy, he was kind of funky. He's a weird-looking fucker. Yeah. 
<laughs> but Game of Thrones isn't going anywhere. Like, we're going to get a whole new whatever once this one's done. You got to trust HBO. They've never steered us wrong. They make good shit. Baller season three. Yeah, already off to a great start. Hell yeah. I love that show. It's just I, like Entourage. I, I Did you used to watch on Entourage? That. No, I watched the movie. I never watched the show. Like, Entourage is it's was one of my favorite shows of all time, and it's just like... Just puts you in a good mood. It doesn't really like move the needle too much as far as plot goes, but like you're still you're just in a good mood when you watch it. And then like they just do a bunch of funny cameos. Like that's all Entourage was. Ballers is just like a football version of Entourage with the Rock. It's, it's it was pretty great. So it's, it's we got we got to have a talk with Burns. Like we're sitting here just talking about all kinds of cool shit. We need to be able to do that. We need to just damn it, Burns. Burns is something I used to call my little brother, okay? <laughs> this is what we would do. We hired my little brother to work with us. Me and Colby are just fucking amped up. Colby's at, at my house already. Aaron, uh, typically, he's about 10, 15 minutes late. You know, we're just amped up. Yeah, let's fucking go today. You know, we're going to have so much fun. And Aaron walks in. Hi, guys. And he goes, sits at his computer, and he's just like, hmm. And we're like, man. We're going to start calling you cold ice. Is cube that what dice. we call cube it? Dice. Cube, cube dice. Cube dice. Cube dice. Because every time you fucking walk in this room, you cool it down, man. And so we called him cube dice. So I'm going to... Burns is getting close to that level. You know, I taste a little <laughs> bit of depression coming off of it. Even though he's, if he's not depressed, but that's the vibe he's bringing to the table, you know? I like, don't Jimmy, know. You know. I think, you know, you're, like I think when you're, you're wrong. I think you're completely backwards wrong i think he's in love. i don't think he's dep- no i don't think he's in- I, I, that's what i was saying i don't think he's depressed no but that's i think the he's vibe literally he's, he's in love he's infatuated he's whooped he's that beginning process of all it just everything's focused on her so it's hard for him to focus like on the podcast and his real friends yeah yeah that's where i think he is yeah so we'll we'll let he'll take a we'll give him a, a couple years off and for those of you who don't understand the analogy, imagine having a drink with your ice cube. It's warm. You drop it in there, and it's disgusting. You don't even want to drink it anymore. You just ruin the mood. Cubed ice. Cubed ice. Well, no. No. Cube. Or you, or you put that, well, that analogy sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I started. You think it. it's disgusting? No, it's because it cools it down. When you're all hot and shit, you throw some ice in there. It cools that shit down. Well, that it would too, cool. But you're- you no, that's the main thing. What do you mean? I was, I was just saying it's I was gross. adding an addition to yours that it's also oh. like when you have a hot coffee and you drop an ice cube in it, and next thing you know, it's watered down and lukewarm. And you're like, I don't even want to drink this anymore. I was okay. adding a layer. To I've the, never I mean, thought. I've never thought of it as from that angle. It's more to do with the the coldness. Like when things are hot and you fucking cool that shit down. You know, that's what you thought the whole time. <laughs> No, I added a layer to the onion. I said there's also, if we rewind oh, it, I said there's another layer to a cube in it. So cube you're just ice. saying like he, like he was like the ugly duckling, basically? No, not the, that's a third layer. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying. So you're calling birds cube, ugly. I'm saying a cube ice could also ruin a Luke or make a warm beverage lukewarm to where you don't like it. Part two. Speaking of Aaron, he finally added that girl on Snapchat. Oh, good. Because he thought we were completely just like joking around with him. Aaron, my little brother who doesn't get much girl action. And when I say when he doesn't get much, like he gets zero unless it's a prostitute in Mexico. Um, He finally, a girl hit me up on Snapchat. And only thing she said was, I want I want Aaron Snapchat now. He's super cute. I live close to him. Uh-oh. She never I responded and stuff and I and I responded talking to her and it's not like she was like she's like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe you responded." She literally only wanted Aaron Snapchat. And so I sent her Aaron a screenshot of her and he thought I was just fucking around with him. He he's like, "I He's like, I'm not going to date one of Kyle's fans or I'm not going to hang out with one of Kyle's fans." I'm like, "I don't know if she's like She's fucking asking for you. Like, that's the only... Like, you, you would think she has, like, Snapchatted me before. Or, like, if I responded, she like, Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you responded. No, she didn't give a fuck about that. All she wanted was Aaron's Snapchat. And he wouldn't fucking add her. He wouldn't... He, he's never dated a girl, never held hands Is with a gay? girl. 
<laughs> That's what you said last time. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying it to. I'm. I'm serious. I mean, every all no, arrows you're saying are pointing at. He's not interested. So why don't you go? No, get him? he's just. Uh, I mean, it's kind of yeah. He's more. He's more just kind of. So like my brothers, they're not really like me. I would say Is like I played like. Like the only time he really shows passion about anything is video games. Like he's like a whole different person. Like the only time I've ever got oh not like that's when he actually like shows like passion in something is like playing competitive video games and stuff like that. But when it comes to like anything else, he's just kind of like eh, okay, like, all right, you know, okay. Unless he's had had some to drink, then he. He actually shows that he likes girls and stuff, but but remember the um, sushi girl that was just in his lap, and then yeah, he was just like nah. But he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't like you could tell he was just a little bit uncomfortable. But I, I don't, I don't think it, I, yeah, I don't think he's gay. At least I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, definitely not. And he's just kind of like a, just a like a gamer. Like he'd rather just game, you know. Okay. But we'll see. Time will tell. Who knows? Maybe he'll take How a dig in the butt. Uh, I don't know. Well, like twenty seven. Time will tell. Shit, he's almost there. Or twenty six. No, he lost his virginity to a prostitute in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, cool. Hey, you guys want to follow up to the uh, Uber Lyft driver from last week too? I have that right here. Uber Lyft driver. The guy that found the child porn-ish stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, he wrote, Just heard the podcast. Thanks for the advice and the shout-out. So I ended up giving his chick the phone with all the shit still open. If she's ha- even half curious as I was, she'll find it. The guy obviously doesn't know how to cover his weird tracks. His girlfriend offered me to come inside the restaurant she works at and give me a free meal, so maybe there's a good chance to see if anything weird happened. Huh? I didn't understand a damn word. I don't know what that said. means at all. So I don't know if you guys want to put on the list of anything, but I checked with the guy and basically said, oh, th- he basically said there was nothing. Okay. But he did he did feel bad for opening the phone and wish he didn't because he opened Pandora's box. Okay. Well, I don't he think. Feels bad. I don't. I mean, first off, <clears throat> as fucked up as this sounds, like I've already said, there's nothing illegal about looking at younger girls in bathing suits. Like, yeah, what if he had it a kid sounds fu- and he was just buying a kid a bathing suit? Yeah, I mean, if you if you were really like super creepy and stuff, like he opens that up and there's a, a eight year old naked, you fucking take it to the police asap. But there could be multiple different reasons why there's like girls in bathing younger girls in bathing suits. You know, I mean, it's fucked up as it sounds. Like if he had that many pages open, but like. There's no, like, okay, maybe the only thing that come of it is the girlfriend questioning him. But other than that, like, there's nothing legal. Like, what's more illegal is him probably getting in the dude's phone, you know? I agree. I think it's, I mean, if it is what it is, it's fucked up. But at the end of the day, like, unless there's a certain rule in the state that they're from that it's you can't be looking at eight-year-olds in bikinis, then I, I truly doubt I truly doubt that that's what the dude's motive was. I think the dude that found the phone was like, "Holy shit, somebody's phone! I can, nobody can trace me looking at child porn." And that dude was looking at child porn. Oh, <laughs> onion layer peeled back, busted. Yep. Oh man. So what else? We got ten minutes. What else is going on? I'm gonna jump in the Discord Patron chat when we're off the, when we're done here. Are you on there right now? My shit's just blown up. I need to exit out. Of that. No, I'm that was a. Uh... Actually, I'll jump in now. No, I'm getting out. <laughs> I don't ever see you in there. I don't ever see you talking. Get me out. There. I was, but I mean, it's like it's like when Justin Bieber shows up to a public area. You know, how everybody's just flocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that analogy. That was a great analogy. Man, I I can't exit. There's so many notifications. Oh, there it goes. Quit so school. Justin Bieber's uh Justin Bieber's like church priest bishop dude is the guy who told him to cancel his tour so he took like 
I don't know, $100 million off the table. He's also the same priest who had a long talk with Kyrie Irving, so Kyrie wanted out. I mean, talk about a powerful dude, man. He just talked two dudes out of great situations. Dude, like Daddy and Lillard kind of threw shade at Kyrie Irving the other day. What did he do? I saw he, him say, I saw him say that I wish you guys printed, printed the whole whole quote. I'm done with the media. No, he did an interview, and they asked him about Kyrie not wanting to play with LeBron. He's like, oh well. Uh, why would you not want to play on a team that's guaranteed to go to the finals every year? I'm just saying, I'd love to go to the finals every year. <laughs> Trade him straight up. That was the interview he said got taken out of context. I did not. I watched it. I watched the whole thing. He literally said, why would you not want to be guaranteed a final appearance every year? That's what I'm trying well, to get. That's a great point. Why wouldn't yeah. you want Well, yeah, that? I totally agree. I mean, Kyrie Irving's going to end up being a superstar in like Phoenix or something and never even sniff. A ring again. No, he'll be like Damian Lillard. Like, yeah, every exactly. now and then you'll sneak into the playoffs, yeah. lose the first round. Like, he's a fucking clown. A great like, individual. Yeah, he doesn't want to be LeBron's little brother. Like, what do you what do you fucking mean, dude? Like, you're the second best player on the team. Yeah. You know, basically, if the Cavs do trade him, they're gonna get a shitload just because he played with LeBron basically. And I mean, Elevated he goes anywhere game. else. He, he's not going to be the star of any team that makes a playoff. You know, I mean, he's a, he's a star of the Cavs, but not, he's not the star, you know? Yeah. So Jimmy, okay. this is what he said. He wrote, they always leave out some, uh, out everything. They want to make it look a certain way. Shaking my head. And he retweeted like the article three times. And then there's a quote from the guy that wrote, he was the, before that he said, "None of us have been in those shoes. You've got to respect his mind and respect his heart regarding." Well, Kyrie Irving. I, I I understand that. And he also said, "I know, I know." He doesn't know LeBron personally, but from a basketball standpoint, why would you not want to play with somebody that makes you better? But the point is, he said it. He's like, "Why would you not want to be guaranteed to go to the finals every year?" That's why we play. So, oh yeah, because and he doesn't care about winning. He's fucking retarded. He thinks the earth is flat. Yeah. I mean, the only the only good ending for Kyrie is if he ends up with the Spurs then he's still literally which is in I don't think possible I don't think it's why like we went me and my buddy went through like the five or six like leading quote unquote yeah like trade spots Miami and it's, and it's like none of these they the Miami deal's not even that good like Justice yeah. Winslow and Gordon Dragic like yeah. no he's gonna then, get uh, he's gonna get shit on dude he's gonna get even Boston's looking at him like why would Boston be looking at Kyrie I mean what do you do with Isaiah no, you got to trade Isaiah for Kyrie straight up because you're not about to pay Isaiah 120 million next yeah. year, right? That's my one of my favorite players, but you can't pay him that much. If he ended up with yeah, the Spurs, but fuck Isaiah, man. The Spurs are the only team that, if you had two superstars, that I think could compete with all these super teams with three and four. I really do. Just watching Kawhi Leonard by himself give the Golden team State ball, Warriors, man. yeah, give the Golden State Warriors fits. I think Kyrie and Kawhi Leonard, if they mesh together, could be the only team that could have two superstars and go up against some of these mega super teams. They were up 26 points. Dude, Kawhi Leonard, he he's the fucking uh, – he's he's the shit, dude. I mean, he really is. They would have won. They, they would have won, won they that were series. Up, they were up 26 points when he got hurt. I mean, they Golden State might have went back after getting blown out that game and found a way to maybe game plan it differently. But yeah, but add a Kyrie maybe, Irving to that angle. with him, that's yeah. legit. That's why I, I agree 100%. But the thing with the Spurs is, like, they got the the guy from UW, the point guard, uh, uh, Murray. Patty, well, they got Patty Mills as their starter. Oh, yeah, but I'm saying, like, as young pieces, yeah, they have yeah, Murray, yeah. and they haven't had, like, a young player come in there. And, like, I mean, they got that Simmons dude in the second round or something. That dude's a baller, too. And I think some – didn't someone else sign him? I don't think he's even on the know. team anymore. I don't know. But Kyrie's young, man. He's, like, 24. Yeah, he's retarded though, so yeah. whatever. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, he's gonna end up in like Phoenix and never make the playoffs. I mean, and that that's actually a decent trade if you got three of Phoenix's young people who could all grow because LeBron's definitely leaving Cleveland. Oh, uh, he was practicing with Russell and Chris Paul the other day in Vegas. I got a shit. We you got to make it another. Five minutes. I know. I got two cups of coffee deep. I hadn't shit for like three days until last night. What's one Jeez. thing? What's one thing? One thing you want to tell the listeners, Kyle? Like right now? Yeah, just something you'd like to tell them. 
They're all listening to you right now. Well, the the true MVPs are still here after 55 minutes, so they deserve a little. Oh yeah, they deserve a little wisdom. Let's see here. Hit me with a rapid fire, Colby. Rapid what fire what? To, anything. Get, throw me a topic. Hit me. I got you. I got you, Kyle. I really want to get into YouTube. I want to be a professional full-time YouTuber. What is your advice on that? Do it. Try it. Fuck it. Go for it. Give it a try while you're doing your other shit. Um, Be different than other people. Do things that not everybody's doing. And uh, that's all you got to do. It's simple as that. It's so funny when people, I've had so many people message me and say like, uh, dude, I want to do, I want to be a YouTube star, but, uh, can you tell me what, like, what should I do? I'm like, fuck, I don't know. Like do something that nobody else does. He's, then they go, Oh, okay. Like what? I'm like, I don't if fucking I know. Do like if, <laughs> yeah. if I knew I would be telling you, I'd be yeah, getting that but, Jake I mean, Paul team 10 money dabbing on haters every day. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's a tough world out there. People figured out that there's a lot of money doing it, and it's uh, oversaturated, just like Facebook and every other damn social media site. So unless you're unless you're doing some wild like it, what I've seen um, for even people that aren't even like funny and stuff, like really like, which I didn't really do back in the day when I was cranking out videos, um, but like really well edited stuff you know usually you can get a viewer base pretty quick like just really sharp looking content like you know um kind of like Venos type style it's almost kind of like its own like episode you know right. um or you know there's a lot of other people but i just always think of him but um just don't throw dog shit out there basically like i did but that was a long time ago when not that many people are on youtube but it's yeah you need some high quality equipment and stuff like that. Um, or, or at least just like a high quality camera, depending on what you want to do. But, um, it, it sounds like it's little, but, um, the game is so yeah, different. Start now. There. The game is so different. I, I mean, I, yeah, I kind of have to, I got to disagree with you. You say do something nobody else is doing. That's not what works. It's, yeah. I mean, there's it's obviously copying the trend, putting your own little spin on it, knowing how to get in search and, yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not organic anymore. If you, you don't want to be a faggot, if you don't want to be a faggot, do something yeah, different, right. basically. Or you can just be like a lot of Jimmy's friends who just they'll crank out six videos a day, <laughs> just hoping one hits. Not I'm not saying Jimmy does that, but I've seen some of the there. Uh, I'm not gonna sit, but there's like a little circle of people that I mean they know what they're doing. That's what they're trying to do, you right. know. So. Um, but they get a shitload of views a month. They make a solid living, but so yeah, they're doing, and I, I also say that if you want to do something sketchy like that, fucking do that too. Why not? You know, like if people are going to watch, like you're, you're not forcing anybody to watch. It's free. So if it's you free fucking, freaking content, free entertainment. Yeah. Like if you, yeah, if you can do something that might be a little iffy, fucking do it anyway i used to when i first started i would spam the shit out of my that was like my thing like i would go into comment sections of other people's videos and say hey you want to see us prank calling a hooker you know check out my channel you know that's what i would fucking do because i'm like like either i make it or i don't you know if, if i have to get a little sketchy you know i mean eventually i stopped doing it because my stuff was taken off but Fuck it. Do some sketchy shit. Who cares? I mean... But you were also at the forefront of stuff. I mean, you were at the forefront of prank calls, and you were you were the forefront of chat roulette, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I mean. I mean, I did things that were different than... Did you, you know, ever spam people than on others. Twitter for retweets? Bigger guys? No. Dude, I did. No. I used to... When I was small, I used to, like... I'd make a tweet being like, I just put up this video and I'd add as many big Twitter handles as I could and say, can I just get a retweet? And then if oh, one would yeah. retweet me, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm going to blow up. Woo. <laughs> the thing is, that was weird because you were like 30 at that time. So uh, you definitely <laughs> didn't have a squeaky voice. <laughs> <laughs> now that I look but back, that was so, that had to be so annoying to people. Had to be yeah, that's how I got. I would sit there. I would. I would be subscribed to all these big pages. They weren't even. I thought they were big pages at the time, yeah, but like yeah. seventy five thousand, like a hundred thousand followers. Like 
or like Woody's gamer tag, uh, a bunch of people, a bunch of like the OG, you know, gamer YouTubers. And I would be the first to con- So what I would do is I would have a bunch of different accounts and I would comment on their video and I would say, I, I would say something about their video, like, oh, good shit. If you guys want to watch me prank call a hooker, you know, come check out the, come check out my channel. And then I would go onto these other pages and I would just, all you need to give a comment, a little boost was a couple likes and then it would start moving up, you know? And then even if some, even if a comment is stupid and people saw it, but it had a bunch of uh, like thumbs up on it. I don't know if you can still thumbs up comments, but, uh, then people would start liking it no matter what. So I would be, it was huge back in the day to have the top comments, you know, there'd be two spots that would say top comments, you know, oh, yeah. and if you got into that, like that was so much exposure on somebody else's video. And I mean, I would do that shit. I would be up until like two in the morning doing that. That's worse and, than my Twitter spamming. Uh, I mean, I mean, but the also thing if is, you were in okay. a Subbox, Subbox juice. If you were in a big channel, Subbox. You were getting yeah, the same it stuff used to be were. big back in the day. Yeah, but I. But the thing is, yeah, I mean, you were allowed to do it, so it was free oh, yeah. advertising. For sure. And um, and also, it's not like it's not like I was promoting like some fucking like scam. You know, I I was promoting me prank calling hookers, and that's what you got when you came to my channel. You know. Yeah. And I mean, back in the day, but now actually, tons of people do it now, but. Um, I mean, just, just the thought, it was so easy. I would just write, I prank call hookers, you know, and like people would just, I would actually gain a lot of subscribers that I, as, as, that I thought then, you know? Yeah. I remember it gray used to be area, just, it used it. to be it's so, gray area. yeah, it used to be like the feeling of, of like gaining subscribers used to be so fucking awesome. I remember at the, at our college graduation, I was watching, we were at one of our roommates and we were watching and there was a, there was. 3,000 people there and like that's a shitload of people to be in one spot but I had at the time I remember it I had 30,000 subscribers and I'd look around and I, I remember telling Rachel I'm like holy shit like see all these people like 10 times more this people you know follow my YouTube channel and that was at 30,000 like like nowadays that's like uh, you know it's 30,000 still a lot but I mean <laughs> to gain 30,000 followers like over 30 days like isn't it's like, oh, cool. That's a, that's a slow month. When you get you know? your hundred K plaque, it was like a letter in there saying you have enough people to fill up the Roman Coliseum or a stadium or something. Yeah. Yeah. Does. I mean, it's it's crazy, but it, what's also crazy? You just look at those people. Yeah, kind of like it's 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 impossible to actually like envision. You know, so think of like the biggest stadium. What is it like, Michigan Stadium or whatever? Whatever their fucking thing is, the or Ohio State. Yeah, like they're almost pushing a hundred thousand people in there, right? Or at least they used to, or like uh, like USC Stadium. But I mean, even even like eighty thousand people, like that is a fucking shitload of people. You don't really think about like if if you got if you got twenty thousand views on a video, your first thought was like, "Fuck, that video kind of sucked," you know. But if you saw twenty, like, just think about how many fucking people twenty thousand people oh, is like no. like yeah, a Michigan whole. Is- Fully loaded basketball game. I agree totally. I also remember when when you liked the video and it went to your feed on your channel when people could see that. Oh yeah. FPS Russia liked a video of mine and I gained like eight thousand subs in an hour. Holy shit! Yeah, I remember some dude dude used to pay me like a hundred bucks per like on his video, and I mean, I mean, I didn't even want the dude was fucking weird. He actually has been sending me messages again after like three years. Who's some kid? It wasn't a kid, but. But now he just recently hit me up. But I remember he was always like super annoying, and he would, like, he'd ask for a video like, and I'd say, uh, I don't know, man. And he would just send me the money just to like force me to do it, even <laughs> though I didn't say yes. That's smart. And then so I'd have his money for like a month, and I finally because it it was valuable back then. Yeah. Like now it really doesn't mean shit, but back then, I mean, yeah, you could gain a shitload of followers off of video likes and you'd like your own videos to punch yourself back in the feed you know or bump you could video bump turn it on unlisted yeah. make it public again yeah the good old days all right we made it i got a shit we should talk so more bad. youtube good old days next time yeah i'm in what should we what should we title this what do we even talk well about? we started off with my strange addictions that's probably a good then one we, we could put a thumbnail wild. with like a dude eating glass yeah let's do something let's 
What weird thing did we talk about? Well, uh, eating, drinking, just pee, put like eating drywall, eating ashes. Ju- well, okay, let's just put like uh, leave it like in a question. We could just put like uh, we I are. Addi- we're doing this live. Put, <laughs> put we are addicted. Just nothing but that. So it kind of leaves it. We floating, are addicted. You know? Dot 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 question mark episode fifty nine. Yep. And That's in, good and in because the thumbnail, that could be anything. In the thumbnail, just some kind of addiction, like a. Somebody addicted to somebody th- something or put somebody no. smoking a, a crack pipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Oh, Photoshop right. Burns doing a crack pipe. Yo, oh, become yes. a patron today. It's only a dollar. But burn now, Burns smoking out a crack pipe. I don't think I can yeah. Photoshop that. He doesn't have enough pictures to make that happen. Yeah, that's true. I'll figure it out. Well, later. just just put Burns next to a crack pipe. <laughs> All, right, All right, bye I guys. Shit. See ya. Bye. Bye. Hey, I had to uh, edit the show a second ago. Then I was like, oh, so Burns has to edit the whole thing and then wait for me to, like, send this to him. That sucks. It's like, sometimes I just, like, we'll spit it off in one second and sometimes I'll, like, do it later. And today's a freestyle one. Waiting on the next track, who's that? He's that crap rap kid trying to put another rap on the rack behind the back, no looking. Rhyme stay cooking, wish you did. You probably should have needed Google Map to find me on the internet. She was into that, posted on Snapchat, delete it later, forget about it, it's hot about, we got about it, man to man, we gotta reroute it. Three Tito's later, bartender, painter, I'm the master, you just debate her. Dabbing time on all them haters, swiping right like Tinder daters. She's a mom, has second graders, bust a nut two seconds later. Booty bigger than my head, drop dead. Smashing again in the bed, watching Walking Dead.